Congratulations 2020 August and December graduates. Today, we celebrate this special occasion, earning your degree from the University of Texas Health Science Center at San Antonio School of Nursing. This accomplishment was not achieved without the contributions of many. To the family members, friends, faculty, and staff, we thank you for the support, care, and compassion you have given each student throughout their educational pursuits. Graduates, it's important for you to realize the difference that you will make in healthcare because of your educational investment. The outstanding care you will provide your patients will serve society. Our School of Nursing proudly espouses that we make lives better by promoting health as an act of social justice. As a nurse, your practice will live out this vision you will positively influence the health of thousands. Research documents that health inequities are the result of social determinants of health. You will be called to address these inequities throughout the course of your career. We challenge you to improve the lives of your patients regardless of their socioeconomic background, geographic limitations, or cultural identity. I am confident that we are sending out into the world individuals who are all fully educated to deliver on our mission of improving health and health care through education, research, practice, and community engagement. And the class that's graduating today are students who have engaged in policy summits in Washington, D.C., and interacted with key legislators and executive leaders to improve the health of our country. Also graduating today are students who have presented groundbreaking research at national conferences to influence the scholarly dialogue with new ideas that will shape our world. Today's class includes peer mentors, supplemental instructors, tutors, and research fellows who selflessly served in the school's Student Success Center to help students fully integrate and succeed in the baccalaureate nursing program. Finally, amongst our graduating students are individuals who dedicated time and talent by participating in the Refugee Clinic, the Pride Clinic, and other nurse-run Wellness 360 clinics. I applaud you for your dedication to this critical mission and know that the seeds planted through your service here will make for a healthier society. As you embark on your new journey, remember to strive to fulfill your potential and find joy in your meaningful work. It is through your commitment to make lives better that innovation is possible. The COVID-19 pandemic has made us all painfully aware that we have entered a new era of healthcare. All of you will be on the front line, caring for individuals in all stages of life and across multiple healthcare settings. You have the opportunity and the ability to shape the future. We anxiously await your next contributions. I challenge you to commit to growing as a professional by embracing a philosophy of lifelong learning. I know you will continue to grow as professionals, leaders, and exceptional nurses. The patients we serve deserve our very best practice. To deliver on our commitment to their needs, we must be diligent about obtaining and practicing with the latest research and evidence. Our relationship with you does not end today. Know that we stand poised to support you beyond today's celebration and well into your career. We look forward to sharing your accomplishments. We welcome you to become engaged with your Alumni Affairs Office. Visit us, call us, or write to us with updates about you, your family, and your career. The continued success of our School of Nursing is dependent on the successes of our graduates. I know that our legacy of preparing outstanding nurse leaders will be enhanced by those joining us today. I am so delighted that so many family members, friends, and colleagues are either able to join us online today or will be able to view this ceremony online in the future. We are thankful for your presence. I now welcome you to the community of over 12,000 graduates of the School of Nursing who have been building our reputation for over 50 years. Congratulations once again. Hi everyone, 
I'm Bill Henrich, president of UT Health San Antonio, and I am delighted to be joining you for this virtual commencement. Now, I know it's certainly not ideal to have such a milestone event be conducted virtually. And believe me, when I tell you I so wish we could all be in person and share handshakes and hugs on an occasion as important as this. However, the fact that we can't should not diminish in any way the fact that this is a momentous occasion and one in which you and your loved ones should be incredibly proud. Everyone knows that 2020 has been strange, difficult, challenging. All of these things are an understatement. Because of the pandemic, you no doubt have had a different educational experience than what we all expected. Your dean and I, Dean Eileen Breslin, as well as each of the faculty members in the UT Health San Antonio School of Nursing are grateful to you for your steadfastness, your determination, your persistence, as well as your spirit of service to others. Many of you, led by extraordinarily dedicated faculty such as Drs. Cindy Sikora, Ken Miller, Lark Ford, have volunteered your time to help in this pandemic and thus have shared your expertise and compassion with others. And I know that you will continue to selflessly give in the years ahead. So please know how grateful we are for your efforts and how proud we are of you. Let me give a special shout out to your family, to your friends, to those who have supported you during your educational experience here, as well to the faculty and staff of the School of Nursing. Everyone here gathered wishes you the very best, and we hope that you can sense our support of you even on this virtual platform. Your services, no doubt, will be in great demand, now perhaps more than ever before. I know that your education and your experience here at UT Health will allow you to make a very positive impact on the nursing profession. And we all very much look forward to observing your success in the years ahead. So now you're about to become an alum. Your name and our name, UT Health, are inextricably linked forever. I hope that you'll visit your alma mater often, and I certainly invite you to do that at any time. Godspeed to each of you. Congratulations on this milestone accomplishment. Thank you. Thank you, President Henrich, for your inspirational remarks. It is now my privilege to introduce your fall 2020 commencement speaker, Dr. Billy Rosa. Dr. Rosa was our first white coat ceremony speaker two years ago and is kind enough to join us today to send his congratulations for these graduating classes. Dr. Rosa is an accomplished author, speaker, researcher, and most importantly, a skilled nurse practitioner. His specialties include palliative care and global health, among others. Dr. Rosa is a Robert Wood Johnson Foundation Future of Nursing Scholar, a PhD graduate from the University of Pennsylvania School of Nursing, and a former nurse practitioner at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York City. He has edited three books on leadership, global health, and theory-guided practice, and has contributed to more than 150 scholarly publications. He has received the International Spirit of Renewal Award from Sigma and the National Lillian Wald Service Award from the American Public Health Association Nursing Section. Dr. Rosa has been inducted as a fellow into the American Academy of Nursing, the American Association of Nurse Practitioners, the American College of Critical Care Medicine, and the New York Academy of Medicine. To contribute to a global response to COVID-19, Dr. Rosa was recently recognized by the Nightingale Initiative for Global Health for his guest editorial, Rapid Investment in Nursing to Strengthen the Global COVID-19 Response.
He is currently engaged as a postdoctoral research fellow in psycho-oncology in the Department of Psychiatry and Behavioral Sciences at the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. I am so grateful Dr. Rosa has taken the time to contribute these profound remarks. I know that you will enjoy them today. It is such a privilege to be here with all of you today. I begin with some very simple words of reflection from a poem by Clarissa Pinkola Estes called, You Were Made For This. She writes, in any dark time, there is a tendency to veer toward fainting over how much is wrong or unmended in the world. Do not focus on that. We are needed. That is all we can know. One of the most calming and powerful actions you can do to intervene in a stormy world is to stand up and show your soul. Soul on deck shines like gold in dark times. When a great ship is in harbor and moored, it is safe, there can be no doubt, but that is not what great ships are built for. These words have been a daily meditation of mine over the past year. They have reminded me that, as the title of the poem suggests, we were made for this very time on earth. And these words are the foundation of what I offer you today as you reflect, celebrate, and honor this tremendous achievement in your lives and in your careers. Dean Breslin, Chair of the Nursing Advisory Council, members of the Executive Council, faculty, students, families, and friends. As I said to you back in 2019 during your white coat ceremony, congratulations on this incredible moment in time. The last time I saw you, I was about halfway through my PhD program and you were just beginning your education journey into nursing. And it brings me tremendous pride to take this opportunity to say we did it. Congratulations. And while I absolutely want to celebrate and honor all of the ups and the downs, the tears and the laughter, the friendship and the love and all of your grit and determination that brought you to this moment, I also really feel an obligation to be as authentic as possible with you in our brief time together. I don't want to sugarcoat the urgent opportunities all around us to improve the health and the welfare of society. And I don't want to distract from ensuring that you understand that you really get the critical gap that you are filling in our profession, in the healthcare system, and in our world. This is an unprecedented time in human history. For arguably thousands of years, human beings have experienced illness, death, and dying, and we know so much from historical data about the ravages of pandemics and communicable disease outbreaks in the past. In 1918, it's estimated that the Spanish flu took between 50 and 100 million lives globally. Just 700,000 of those were taken in the U.S. alone. Since 1981, HIV has infected more than 65 million people around the world, according to the CDC. And now we have COVID-19 a pandemic that continues to evolve at the intersection of countless worrisome circumstances and massive, massive social injustice that need your expertise as nurses now more than ever. As a human race, as a nation, and as a global village, we are confronting the realities of pervasive structural racism, political divisiveness, and a dismal climate crisis all of which have been shown to impact health access, health equity, and health outcomes, and all of which are particularly detrimental for the poorest and the most at-risk populations around the world. And it is during this unprecedented time, right in the middle of this tsunami of suffering that we are seeing, that you enter the profession. You, you are my hope. You are the light. You represent so much possibility for all of us. And that is my focus for this time together. All of the possibilities and the potentials of you. For me, that thought is inspiring, it is comforting, and it's profound. Audre Lorde, the American writer and feminist and activist wrote, if I do not bring all of who I am to whatever I do, then I bring nothing or nothing of lasting worth for I have withheld my essence. And so when you think 
about what you will bring to the world during this time of flux and noise and dis-ease, I ask you, what is the essence of you that you bring forth? What is that contribution of lasting worth that you as a nurse, as an advocate, as a change maker, what is that contribution of lasting worth that you will make visible to the world? Clinically, I have no doubt that you will be the individuals who show up and provide healing during a time when we, we desperately need it. You will be the face of calm, the hand of support, the mind of science, the heart of compassion, and remember that you will also represent ethical integrity in our healthcare system. So while it's true you enter the profession of nursing amid turbulence, do not forget that it is also you who will reintroduce and reintegrate balance into the system. And in a much broader sense, beyond the bedside, I foresee and expect that you will be, you will be, the anecdote to societal suffering, to injustice, to racism, to hatred, and to the inhumanities that we are currently experiencing as a people, because there can be no good health and well-being while these things, while these inhumanities exist. Your training is distinctly rooted in a nursing philosophy, and it will equip you to remind your patients and your communities of our interdependence, of our shared humanity across races, across sexual and gender identities, across ages, religions, cultures, and across the political aisle. Nursing is a voice and a force for change, 28 million strong. 28 million strong that account for 59% of the global healthcare workforce. These are the ranks that you join today. You. And so my advice for this next step, create an expansive definition of nursing for yourself. When you start, you're going to be overwhelmed with tasks from the start of your shift to the end of your shift, and that is completely understandable. But be patient with yourself and be kind to yourself. Take time to process the emotions that will naturally arise. In your work as a nurse, you will know joy. You will also know grief. But use every emotion, every day, and every encounter with each patient and family caregiver as an opportunity to become more of yourself, to become more caring, to find the pieces of your humanity that you have forgotten or sidestepped until now. Use those encounters as an opportunity to bring your compassion to life in the world. We need it, we need it badly. Embrace all the parts of yourself that need your attention and your care, because without your precious self, we, as a society, as a healthcare system, we don't stand a chance. After six months or a year in your new role, challenge yourself to expand your impact. You are more than just clinical excellence. You are the power of innovation. You are the voice of advocacy. You are the questions that will lead new research to improve the quality of the care for those we serve. And you are the promise of a future that will move us toward wholeness. There is so much that you can offer. Talents inside of you that are just tossing and turning to be seen and found and released into the world. Talents you didn't even know you had. So Audre Lorde, the poet I quoted earlier, she writes, if I do not bring all of who I am to whatever I do, then I bring nothing or nothing of lasting worth for I have withheld my essence. But then she continues by saying, so this is a call for each of you to remember yourself, to reach out for new definitions of that self and to live it intensely, to not settle for the safety of pretended sameness and the false security that that sameness seems to offer, to feel the consequences of who you wish to be, lest you bring nothing of lasting worth because you have withheld some piece of the essential, which is you. You are the essential. You enter this nursing profession today with all of the talents, uh, known and unknown, 
all of the imperfections and all of the experiences and wisdom that make you a unique contribution to our field. We honor you. We welcome you. And never forget, even on your most challenging days, that we need you. And remember, you were made for this. So please take good care, stay safe and healthy, and please know that today I am celebrating you from New York, and I am sending all of my heartfelt congratulations to you and to those you love. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this incredibly special moment in time. Bye for now. Greetings. Please accept my sincere congratulations for completing your undergraduate and graduate education programs. Your perseverance during this unprecedented time is remarkable. I know, graduate students, that many of you continue to work and sometimes were required to work additional hours as you completed your coursework, clinical hours, and quality improvement projects. Your commitment to completing your education with a positive attitude at all times is noteworthy. The pandemic has highlighted healthcare needs in a way we have not seen before. Each of you is now prepared with skills and knowledge to ensure equitable and quality healthcare for all persons. Some of you will provide that care at the bedside as adult gerontology acute care nurse practitioners. Others will provide primary care as family nurse practitioners and pediatric nurse practitioners. Still others, as psychiatric mental health nurse practitioners, will work to address the growing mental health needs in our country. Doctor of Nursing Practice graduates, are you ready to use your knowledge and skills to lead healthcare systems, to affect policy change and lead teams? Your knowledge and skills of quality improvement processes contribute to improving healthcare for millions of people. Each of you has completed a project that will improve healthcare, addressing statin adherence, case management, mental health follow-up care after discharge for adolescents, short messaging to improve no-show rates at a mental health clinic, increasing HPV vaccine rates, reducing skilled nursing facility readmissions, improving parent satisfaction among neonatal intensive care unit families, and increasing pre-hospital blood transfusion rates in patients experiencing hemorrhagic shock. Your projects have created positive changes for better health outcomes. It is my pleasure to certify the completion of the graduate degrees that we will confer. Dr. Henrich, on behalf of the faculty at UT Health San Antonio School of Nursing, I am pleased to certify to you that the candidates have successfully completed all the academic requirements for the degree to be conferred. Congratulations, graduates. Good afternoon. As the Associate Dean for Undergraduate Studies, I offer heartfelt and enthusiastic congratulations. During your undergraduate program journey, you have become seekers of knowledge, promoters of health, solvers of problems, and leaders of solutions. You exemplify our vision and mission in the School of Nursing as you embrace the promotion of health as an act of social justice and go forth as nurse leaders at the bedside and beyond. I am proud of your accomplishments and want each of you to know that you make our lives better because of the positive imprints you leave behind as you transition to professional nursing practice. I am excited as I think about your future successes and encourage each of you to consider graduate education. Your contributions to the nursing profession in a variety of capacities will shape the future health of communities. Now, without further ado, it is my pleasure to certify the completion of the Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree we will confer. Dr. Henrich, on behalf of the faculty at UT Health San Antonio School of Nursing, I am pleased to certify to you that the candidates have successfully completed all academic requirements for the degree to be conferred. Congratulations, graduates. Graduates, we've arrived at the point in the ceremony that confers the degrees to you, and I want to say to you that this is a point of great 
privilege for me. I take great pride in your accomplishments by saying the following. By the authority vested in me by the State of Texas and the University of Texas System Board of Regents, I hereby confer upon each of you your respective diploma and all the rights, honors, and obligations pertaining to your degrees. And in so doing, I offer my and our collective hearty congratulations. I'm Bill Taylor here at Ken's 5 Television, so honored to be part of such a special celebration. Let's begin at this time with the presentation of graduates. Graduating with a degree in Doctor of Philosophy in Nursing, Ms. Shanna Renee Frazier. Dissertation title, Experiences of Persons Living with an Intestinal Ostomy, a Photo Elicitation Study. Committee Chair, Dr. Jana Lesser. Congratulations, Dr. Shanna Renee Frazier. Graduating with a degree in Doctor of Nursing Practice, Ms. Hedda H. Atkins. DNP project title, Improving Statin Medication Adherence to Reduce the Burden of Cardiovascular Disease in a Managed Care Patient Population Within an Internal Medicine Practice, a Quality Improvement Project. Committee Chair, Dr. Heidi J. Warabo. Congratulations, Dr. Hedda J. Atkins. Ms. Falan Ray Benavides, High Honors. DNP project title, Improving Employee Satisfaction and Engagement in the Case Management Department, a Quality Improvement Project. Committee Chair, Dr. Jeremy Viles. Congratulations, Dr. Falan Ray Benavides. Mr. Henry Alexander Bullock, High Honors. DNP project title, Implementation of an Organizational Process to Increase Mental Health Follow-up Care after inpatient hospitalization to reduce recidivism to a child and adolescent hospital. Committee Chair, Dr. Marta E. Vives. Congratulations, Dr. Henry Alexander Bullock. Ms. Vita Su Chianlin Chung. DNP project title, Reducing No-Show Rates in a Psychiatric Mental Health Clinic Using Short Message Service and Live Telephone Reminder Call Verifications a quality improvement project. Committee Chair, Dr. Azize Sawan. Congratulations, Dr. Vita Su Chian Lin Chung. Ms. Leah Sloan Gutierrez, high honors. DNP project title, Cognitive Assessment in a Medicare Population, a quality improvement project. Committee Chair, Dr. Carol White. Congratulations, Dr. Leah Sloan Gutierrez. Ms. Deanna Marie Savo, DNP project title, Increasing HPV Vaccine Rates Among Adolescents in a Pediatric Primary Care Clinic. Committee Chair, Dr. Susan McDonald. Congratulations, Dr. Deanna Marie Savo. Mr. Randall Marie Schaefer, DNP project title, Increasing Pre-Hospital Blood Transfusion Rates in Patients Experiencing Hemorrhagic Shock, a Quality Improvement Initiative. Committee Chair, Dr. Nancy McGowan. Congratulations, Dr. Randall Marie Schaefer. Ms. Amy Marie Smith, DNP Project Title, Reducing Skilled Nursing Facility Readmissions. Committee Chair, Dr. Carol White. Congratulations, Dr. Amy Marie Smith. Ms. Heidi Elizabeth Thompson, high honors. DNP project title, Improving Parent Satisfaction by Enhancing Role Attainment and the Parent-Infant Bonding Among NICU Families, a Quality Improvement Project. Committee Chair, Dr. Jacqueline McGrath. Congratulations, Dr. Heidi Elizabeth Thompson. Graduating with a postgraduate certificate, Norma Linda Guerra, Lisa Hui Hurd, Gloria Nataki Karoma, Ellen Lima Lonsdale, Amanda Suzanne Patton, Jana Lynn Reeves, 
Kaylee Deanne Shanks. Graduating with a degree in Masters of Science in Nursing, Jesse Alvarado III, Adriana Nicole Azua, graduating with a degree in Bachelors of Science and a Masters of Science in Nursing, Natasha Bakunda, Mayeri Barroso, Megan Marie Burson, High Honors, Carrie Elise Curiel, Pratima Dahal, Valerie Lynn Dennis, Sweetie DeMello, Greg E. Dugas, Anastasia Flores, Kedrick J. Floyd, Gabriela Garay, Bruce Lee Garcia, Cynthia Elizabeth Garcia, Denise Garza, Lance Gutierrez, Rebecca Christine Guzman, Cynthia Harris, Jeannie K. Heidelberg, Lauren Christian Hood, graduating with a degree in Bachelors of Science and a Master's of Science in Nursing, James Eddie Houston, Jessica Catherine Hyde, Richard Ibitola Ibitayo, Sue J. G., Victoria Elizabeth Johnson, Kara Danby Kim, High Honors, Rebecca Elizabeth Landry, Kenny Dwi Lee, Dominic Robert Ligori, High Honors, Virginia Leanne Lockie, William Matthew Long, Tracy J. Lucas, Dante Lucio, Rodolfo Luna, Tanner Lee McKay, graduating with a degree in Bachelors of Science and a Master's of Science in Nursing, Pedro Martinez, Sean Michael McCarthy, Megan Ann McLemore, Brittany May Mecker, Jessica Marie Montemayor, Susila Naharyanan, Kelly Elizabeth Nash, Ifioma May Keokamam, Mariana Obregon, Monica Nina Papiez, Kendra Vanessa Parks, Melissa Carrie Lynn Pendergraf, Jessica Vanessa Perez, Shauna Lee Prieto, David Alexander Ridge, Kristen Eve Rossler, Christina Marie Rodriguez, Lorena Lee Rodriguez, Adam Mitchell Sayuni, Paula Sakin, Jennifer Salinas, Samantha Price San Miguel, Jessica Laura Sarabia, Charles Grant Sampek, Michaela Sakula, Deborah Renee Sentmore, High Honors, Zhuang Cecilia Song, Selena Sonora, Carrie Brittany Stapleton, Rachel Catherine Sterling, Kimberly Marie Tench, Stephanie Tijarina, Peter Jerome Torsivia, High Honors, Roberto Jaime Trujillo, Olga Yakoslavana Svetkova, Christina Ann Tushin, Hilary Nicole Turner, Luis Javier Valdez, Eduardo Vasquez, Alexis Rene Whalen, High Honors, Tia Don Wakem, Yali Wang, Jessica Ann Webster, Rachel Elizabeth Witten. Graduating with a degree in Bachelor of Science in Nursing in the traditional program. 
Joeli Alejandra Aguilar Infante, magna cum laude. Samangol Ebedi Awazi, summa cum laude. Andres Alvarez. Julitza Balderas. Maya Gabrielle Bernal, cum laude. Ali Nicole Birdwell, summa cum laude. Victoria Marie Blanton. Gabriella Bateo. Brittany Marie Branham, cum laude. Christopher Michael Brown. Brittany Nicole Burke, cum laude. Tristan Selga Busby. Adam Bustamante. Israel Camargo. Oreti Kami, summa cum laude. Esmeralda Linda Campos. Ana Paula Cantu, magna cum laude. Bianca Cardenas. Sheena Rose Selena Costoreno. Tania Castro, cum laude. Raba Donetti Caudill. Yanith Seha. Elisa Blair Crawford, summa cum laude. Annalisa Lizette de la Cerda. Tina de la Sosa. Caitlin Carol Ditburner. Madison Cheyenne Dresch. Sarah Pence Driver, summa cum laude. Heather Renee Edwards, summa cum laude. Aubrey Lila Elling. Cassandra Luis Vigoroa, cum laude. Gabriela Flores Baca. Alma Teresa Gomez, summa cum laude. Yasmin Adeline Gomez. Denise Mati Garcia, cum laude. Gabriela Ann Garcia, magna cum laude. Kayla Garcia. Rebecca Christine Gardea, summa cum laude. Leanne Garza, cum laude. Antonio Gonzalez. Miriam Gonzalez, cum laude. Anna Rachel Goolsbay, magna cum laude. Brooke Ariel Griffin. Lauren Alexia Griffith, cum laude. Glenda B. Guerra Olvera. Brianna Dina Gutierrez. Helen Katie Gutierrez. Alexander Sebastian Guzman. Kevin Huang, summa cum laude. Valeria Marisol Jaramillo Montijo. Allison Danielle Hasso. Sydney Mina Jensen. Melissa Ku. Nikki Duen Kyle. Megan Nicole Loffy. Kristen Nicole Ledoux. Andrea Loetta. Katrina Michelle Lopez. Adriana Lozano, cum laude. Angelica Faith Lugma, summa cum laude. Fioma Madus Messi, cum laude. Michelle Lee Mikater. Brandon J. Martinez, magna cum laude. Brandy Marie Martinez. Isabella Dominique McCabe, cum laude. Vanessa Alicia Mendoza Jimenez. Chakesia Monet Miller. Shira Doni Montgomery. Summa cum laude. Rebecca Lauren Moore, summa cum laude. Celeste Desiree Morales. Sibone Montez Munoz. Edith Erin Naranjo, cum laude. Tammy Nyo. Hung Win Reyes, cum laude. Talis Nieto. Carrie Lee Nunemaker. Diana Nunez Mendoza. 
John Christopher Pasquale, Tanya Peterson, Michelle Lee Pomonis, Michael Vincent Ponce, Randy Rene Ramirez, Emily Megan Rashuber, cum laude, Samuel Woodson Renfro, Isael Ivan Rocha, cum laude, Ashley Ann Ruiz, cum laude, Sarita Victoria Saltzman, Raven Fernandez San Andres, magna cum laude, Yatsil Sanchez, cum laude, Brooke Ashley Schiller, summa cum laude, Crystal Segovia, Alexandra Nicole Sue, magna cum laude, Brianna Solis, Kendall Valentine Spies, Molly Elizabeth Steele, Madeline Marie Sullivan, Gail Marisa Talamentes, Elizabeth Thankenchen, Rita D. Tucker, summa cum laude, Megan Rose Varela, Noel Nicole Vincent, summa cum laude, Caitlin Faye Voigt, Marissa Marie Jordan Williams, summa cum laude. Graduating with a degree in Bachelor of Science in Nursing in the Accelerated Program, Lindsay Adams, magna cum laude, Carla Alcantara, Christine Anderson, Lynn Anenai, summa cum laude, Mary Anker, summa cum laude, Montserrat Arivalo, summa cum laude, Daisy Avalos, summa cum laude, Emily Amond, cum laude, Daniel Baird, magna cum laude, Alexander Beasy, cum laude, Darius Bible, Corey Bigelow, Nancy Calderon, magna cum laude, Lindsay Carrillo, Bailey Clark, summa cum laude, Casey Day, Juan De Leon, cum laude, Jillian Dean, Rachel DeSantis, cum laude, Vanita Ducran, magna cum laude, Felicia DeRoser, magna cum laude, Sarah East, cum laude, Anila Eliason, magna cum laude, Gerardo Espinosa Torres, cum laude. Christopher Estrada, cum laude. Samuel Fairchild. Alexandra Farias, cum laude. Amber Farley, cum laude. Shanice Fisher. Brianna Flores, summa cum laude. Natalia Flores. Edward Flores. Sylvia Flood, Abigail Fonseca, summa cum laude, Oscar Fuentes, Felicia Gaetan, Claire Ginilioni, Anna Godnez, magna cum laude, Cecilia Gomez, Jacob Gonzalez, cum laude, Betty Gonzalez, Raja Greer, Justin Griego, Brittany Hans, summa cum laude, Lauren Harris, summa cum laude, Julianne Hastings, summa cum laude, Aisa Hernandez, Ruben Hinojosa, Sarah Hoffman, cum laude, Adriana Johnson, summa cum laude, Stephanie Ketchum, Febby Landros, Kelly Langford, cum laude. Brittany Lim, summa cum laude. Rachel Mandolin, cum laude. Linda Martinez, magna cum laude. Lauren Mathis. Mary McKay, cum laude. 
Kaylee McQuinney, Cecilia Medina, Emilio Molina, cum laude, Hannah Moore, summa cum laude, Madison Moreland, summa cum laude, Macy Nolan, magna cum laude, Destiny Obi, magna cum laude, Magdalena Palchik, summa cum laude, Bailey Petri, cum laude, Katie Pierce, magna cum laude, Maddie Price, summa cum laude, Martin Ramirez, Lisa Ramos, Ermanpreet Randwaha, Wendy Reyes, Yesenia Reyes, Lauren Ricketts, magna cum laude, Monica Rivas, Silvio Rodriguez, cum laude, Jonathan Rodriguez, summa cum laude, Catherine Romanik, Kristen Sines, cum laude, Annalise Sanchez, Kyle Sewell, magna cum laude, Gemma Shoemake, cum laude, Michelle Saya, magna cum laude, Benjamin Steinhauser, magna cum laude, Chelsea Swaim, summa cum laude, Omar Thanen, cum laude, Rachel Torres, Michael Urobazo, Myra Valladeras, cum laude, Juanita Varela, Justin Villanueva, Bianca Walker. Please now join me in congratulating our 2020 School of Nursing graduates. Blessings on a phenomenal career. Thank you for joining in this healthcare industry.